Hi guys, it's Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload new content. This reading is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Guys, if you're looking for my information to book a personal reading, you'll find it listed in the description box below. And if you are looking for our tarot deck, Magical Fantasy Tarot, it is on sale, 35% off, and the link for the Etsy store is below. It's also available on Amazon. So let's get into this. What's happening, Aquarius? Somebody's heartbroken because of a snake. Somebody who you have an enemy or competition, the other woman looking over your shoulder, heartbroken, deep hurt, sad, feeling lost, grief, despair, and a breakup. Tell me about this. Give me all 12 signs starting with Aries. If you're dealing with an Aries, somebody's at a crossroads about cutting something out. If you're dealing with a Taurus, somebody's apologizing for all the burden. If you're dealing with a Gemini, they're manifesting heartbreak. If you're dealing with a Cancer, somebody's walking away for a new beginning. If you're dealing with a Libra, uh, with a Libra, a Leo. If you're dealing with a Leo, somebody needs the strength. Uh, strength where the Queen of Pentacles is concerned, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, maybe holding back from a Queen of Pentacles. If you're dealing with a Virgo, it's like somebody, is, there's an argument and somebody wants to find some clarity or get some clarity about something. If you're dealing with a Libra, There may be a lot of strife, jealousy, competition, or drama at work. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, passion, you're both passionate, very passionate about one another. There's equal give and take in a new passionate beginning. You're both as excited about the other, you know, instead of it just being kind of one-sided, you both are equally feeling the, the energy between the two of you. If you're dealing with a Sag, they may be cheating with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or they may be cheating on you. Uh, if you're dealing with a Capricorn, they want to be with you, but you're leaving them out in the cold. You're leaving them on red. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, another Aquarius, somebody is... Um, this is, they're resisting healing a situation. They're very guarded about healing a situation. If you're dealing with a Pisces, they want justice closing out a karmic cycle. So it's karmic, it's karmic justice here. So co closing out the karmic cycle with justice. So let's get into this. Aquarius. Somebody's heartbroken over another woman or another person. Somebody can see that you've tried to master your emotions for a long time and they need strength. They need strength because they're at a crossroads about closing out the cycle. So they see that you have, you know, they see the harsh truth or they see that you're mastering your emotions for a long time. They see that you are there. You're in your feelings and you're trying to figure things out and they need strength because they're at a crossroads of whether or not they want to just leave you out in the cold. They, you know, to close this door on, you could be possibly married to this person. They're, they're you know, maybe you got one foot out the door. They, they may leave you out in the cold. They want to be with you and work on this situation. But I feel like your energy is very, um, I see it. I want it. It's mine. You're, you're not really in the mindset of giving 
This energy isn't anything that's giving. You know, you're coming in as a king of cups, a king of pentacles, and a king of wands. Uh, all but yourself, right? So the aspects of you is showing that, you know, you could be an emperor somehow um, in this case. But even if you're not... This person knows that you've been in your, your, in your head for a while trying to master your emotions. This is like you, they're feeling like they might want to walk away from a marriage um, and leave you out in the cold. They would want to work on it, but you're not really giving them the energy that you want to. So, you know, you have somebody who is thinking about moving on from this partnership because of options, because you have options here. What is the problem? Okay. You have interference here. You have somebody who is a third party that's interested in you. This is the problem. There's a third party that's interested in you, Aquarius. They may be waiting because you have a relationship with an empress who is your partner. Now, you came in as that, you know, I saw you could potentially be an emperor. I do see an empress here. So you have a family situation that somebody wants justice in. They're very trapped in their head. They've emotionally communicated with you that they've been patient. They've patiently waited for you. They've been patient in this whole situation. Um, <clears throat> but they're ready to close the door. They've been ready to close for a long time. I feel like this has been going on for, it could be three to five years. You've had somebody who's interested in you. Okay, because it's telling me the Queen of Pentacles, which could be the Empress energy, or it could be a wife. The wife sees the harsh truth in the situation. They see it. They know it. So it, you're not hiding anything from somebody if they're aware that, you know, they feel like they could be, they're manifesting being single because of the heartbreak in this commitment. They feel like you have one foot in and one foot out, and now they feel like they have the same. Um, so you both are like teetering on whether or not you're going to continue with this commitment. You both have one foot out the door and one foot in. You're both in the same mindset because of what's happened. How's this other person coming towards you? Okay, they want to cause a separation. They want to cause a break in your relationship. This person is not a nice person. This person is got very dark energy here. They want to cause drama here, right? They want you to close out the cycle and cut somebody out. That's their wish fulfillment, right? So they can come rushing towards you and be with you. You're mastering your emotions about walking away, taking that leap. But there's a truth here. A truth being spoken about the burden. A truth about the burden. I feel like your, your partner's in the Queen of Swords mode. About somebody being in and out. The truth about the burden where this person is concerned, where your partner is concerned, you acting like a player. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. Hmm. 
whatever is happening here, I don't feel like you're offering What are you offering? Offering a new beginning. I feel like this pre-empress energy has very strong emotions about something. You may offer a new beginning here, or you they feel like you're rushing out to offer somebody else a new beginning, and you have a pre-empress that is like, they either have strong emotions or they're secretly going to leave you out in the cold and end the situation. You're not going to know what happened. One day they're going to be there, and the next thing you're going to wake up and they're going to be gone. So I feel like this person may hide the fact that they're going to leave you out in the cold and end the situation. They feel like you're already offering something to the to the third party. The grass is not greener, guys. The grass is not greener. It's what they're saying right now. The grass is not greener. This would be a big mistake if your partner walked away. Tell me about how this ends. I feel like your partner's going to put some, they're heartbroken and they're going to, they're going to put some strong boundaries here. They're going to set some sort of strong boundaries. Tell me about this ending. Hmm. Somebody is doing witchcraft here. You have an illusion of mind, mind games and manipulation. Somebody is trying to manipulate somebody. Somebody's trying to win at all cost using an illusion, right? You see things from a different perspective when it comes to magic. You don't believe it. You don't believe it. You don't believe that this person can do spell work. Well, somebody's being foolish. That's for sure. You look at things from a different perspective where magic is concerned. You don't believe in it. You don't believe in it. Where you have somebody who is manif this is this is an illusion of mind games and manipulation and control. Somebody is trying to mess with your free will, but you say that you look at this from a different perspective where magic is concerned. You don't believe it exists. You don't believe that they're doing it. Somebody needs the strength to move on from this fight, from this argument. Empress energy. You could be dealing with a Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. I feel like the minute this person tries to leave you, um, Aquarius, I'm feeling like this energy is yours. Um, I feel like you're going to rush into a new beginning in love. Now, I don't know if that's with your partner. You may be obsessed with watching the third party, or your partner could be. But you're going to end up regretting this. You're going to start seeing, you're going to get some clarity. You're going to see things clearly. Somebody was very strategic. Queen of Wands. This person, they pulled the wool over your eye and you didn't even know it. I'm going to tell you. You're not going to want to even speak to this person anymore. In divine timing, you won't even speak to this person anymore. Um, I feel like they, they, they got you. With an illusion to close the door with all the drama, their chaos magic, to close the door so they got a victory with their attack. Now you're the one trapped in your head about your partner feeling kind of guarded and defensive, right? Because she's now single and abundant 
and have has moved on from the heartbreak and now you know the truth now you know the truth magic does exist so if you were like you you were stubborn thinking that this person didn't know what they were talking about um, you're going to be the one who's going to know the truth in the end that's the bottom line here you're going to be the one who knows the truth in the end so guys that is all i have for you if that resonates with you please leave me a comment down below don't forget to like share and subscribe and i hope you have a blessed week mm -hmm.